everyone. Let's talk about lore. All right. So lore is from the fiber company. It is a woolen spun DK weight yarn. Uh, it's 100% a hundred percent Romney lamb's wool. Romney is uh, one of the long wool breeds. And this one, I forget the microns, like 32 to 39 microns, which roughly puts it in the mid-range um, gear, uh, hats, socks, cardigans, uh, not next to skin typically. Although, I gotta tell you, I find it fine. Mm -hmm. um, I love this, I find it soft and I liked working with it. I did take it down to my knit group um, and they, you know, fondled the swatch and some of them found it a little prickly um, because it is wool and spun and others thought it was perfectly soft. So it's just, it's definitely one of those wools in the gray area about how comfortable it feels next to skin. Again, I love it next to my skin. Um, it's got a little bit of a halo because it is wool and spun. Um, it blooms really nicely. This is blocked. It blooms really nicely when blocked. Although, you know, I this gauge is way too loose and we'll talk about that in a minute. The yarn has a beautiful heathered um, quality. This is the passionate colorway, which is what the swatch is made out of. I also got some uh, happiness and comfort colorways and they are really also very quite heathered lots of color going on there as you can see these are going to go together in some sort of color work project i'm not sure this is going to be for the bowderstone vest which was in the um lore uh, pattern collection that just got released all right so overall i i like i said i really enjoyed working with this now let's talk about the actual swatch all right so I'll look at it again the texture looks nice. It would look better if the gauge was on or if it wasn't so loose, right? And it felt great to work with. Um, I typically am like one of those knitters that's dead on with gauge. So if they give a range on the ball band, say US4 to US6, um, I pick a US5 and I am dead on with gauge, generally speaking. The ball band for Lore calls for a US 6 4 millimeter, and it says 21 stitches to the 4 inches. That's not what I got, and I did use a US 6. This is like, I don't know, 17, maybe 18 stitches per inch. I forget what I wrote down. Anyway, I think part of the challenge for me not getting gauge was that I was swatching with bamboo needles. There's something about woolen spun yarn that really begs me to knit with wooden needles or bamboo needles. Um, so that was part of the, the challenge, I think. The other reason I think that I didn't quite get to gauge, possibly, is because I was really struggling with this, uh, the charted directions for this pattern. They don't work the way my brain works, and so I kept pausing and stopping and fiddling with my needles. and. Of course, if I, you never really get into a rhythm, your gauge is all wonky. And I think that's what happened. So to test out at least one of those theories, I'm re-swatching with metal needles. And I am working from the written instructions rather than the chart. And we'll see if I can't get gauge with the US 6. If not, I'll go down to a US 5 and see if that helps. Again, I normally don't have problems with gauge, but you know, every yarn is different. All right, so I did enjoy working with this. I loved it and um, yeah, it just felt really lovely.